Hello everyone. I hope that all of you are doing good. First, I would like to thank you to everyone for subscribing this channel and motivating me to continue. So thanks a lot, my dear friends. Okay, in this video, I will talk about uh, uh, the 35 kV tempering feature in the meter and uh, about uh, what does it mean by the 35 kV tempering and the design considerations uh, to protect the electricity meter from 35 kV or more voltages and along with its practical demonstration. So let's start with this. So okay, here on the white world I have mentioned the few points. So first discuss what is 35 kV tempering and what does it mean. So in order to understand this, so let me give you some two examples of our real life. The one example is uh, uh, in winter seasons, uh, maybe most of you have experienced that are uh, some kind of a shock, which is known as electrostatic discharge. And uh, that shock maybe you have experienced when you touch the metallic body means when you touch the handle of your car or if you do a handshake with a person. So this is the first example. And the second example is from the automobile industry. Uh, where the spark plugs are used to fire or ignite the your uh, fuel, uh, right? So that spark plugs generates the voltage uh, in around 15 kV to 20 kV and this voltage is generated continuously to, you know, spark the, uh, so, sorry, to fire the fuel. So here in the first example, okay. the voltage or the static discharge is generated uh, in the range of around 2 kV to up to 6 kV and the time duration is just in milliseconds or in simple terms it's just a fraction of a second. So these are the two examples uh, which uh, which is going to help us to understand the what is 35 kV tempering and why it is required to protect the meter. Uh, so here this much high voltage can be used for the good reasons and also for some bad reasons. So actually in the field, uh, uh, it is observed that the electricity meters are damaged by applying this much high voltage or more than that up to your 50,000 volts means 50 kV volts to the meter. Uh, and in this way or that the meter get damaged and it's a directly loss to the electricity metering department. Therefore, due to of these reasons, it is required to protect the meter from high voltage if someone applied externally to the meter and for a long time. So let's discuss about the design considerations uh, to protect the meter from this high voltage if it is applied externally. The first uh, uh, layer of protection is uh, its metallic body. What does it mean? Some metallic uh, nameplate or a metallic uh, plate is inserted at the first layer. So that if the high voltage is reaches to that point, then uh, it first strikes to the metallic body or the uh, metallic surface and that voltage is then grounded to the face. And the second layer of uh, protection in the meter is its uh, plastic body, which is ultrasonic welded to the meter. And there is also a third layer of uh, protection, which is called the external box in which your meter is enclosed. So this kind of a three layers is typically applied in the Indian market scenario means one is the external box outer casing then a meter itself or the unit itself is enclosed into a plastic casing and after that there are some metallic shielding around all the meter uh, in terms of its nameplate uh, which shields the uh, which protects the meter from any external high voltage. So here majorly to protect the meter from a 35 kV voltage or more than that voltage uh, the mechanical role plays an important uh, part and uh, after that uh, uh, means after all that precautions if your high voltage somehow reaches to the meter then it will touch its metallic body and then through some wire it is uh, again bypassed to the face. Apart from that in the hardware some ESD semiconductor devices are used uh, which is placed between the line and neutral and also uh, at some different places uh, uh, to, uh, uh, to protect uh, uh, the meter from this such kind of a high voltage. Uh, so okay 
here i have covered the these points uh, what is 35 kv tampering and uh, actually what does it mean and why it is required to protect the meter and uh, it's uh, some core design considerations to protect the electronic energy meter from this much high voltage so let's move to the practical demonstration of uh, this test and uh, here i would like to say to all of you please kindly do not uh, attempt to this kind of a test at home or at any place because it's very lethal in nature okay so okay guys here is a setup this is my energy meter and it is connected to phase and neutral and here i do have some kind of a high voltage generator so let me switch on the setup so just now i have switched on the setup and you can listen the voice okay now i am going to supply thing here can you observe the blue spark and if you see here the spark length is around 1 inch I hope that the information shared is useful to you. Kindly stay tuned with me and share, like and subscribe this channel. So thank you very much. And once again, thanks a lot to all uh, my viewers who has uh, subscribed this channel and uh, have a nice day.